Hello, good morning, happy Sunday to you. How you doing? It's Jim. Um, I'm going to make a video of me listening to some music, just for a change. Um, and this is a request on multiple, multiple occasions by Julian Grenon Grenkin uh, for a band called Isis, uh, who were uh, an American uh, metal band uh, formed in Boston, uh, 1997. And then they disbanded a few years later, three or four years later. Um, apparently they are reforming this year for a one-off show, um, renamed Celestial for that one gig. And that's a, that's a tribute uh, tribute show to someone called Caleb Schofield. And I don't know who that is. Um, probably something to do with the band. So anyway, I, I don't know. Um, so anyway, that's what they're doing. I don't know this band. I don't know this song. Uh, the song I'm doing is something called Threshold of Transformation. Uh, it's quite long. It's a bit over nine minutes. Um, what is it? It's uh, yeah, literally a few seconds short of ten minutes. So it's quite a long song. Um, yeah. Um, by the way, apologies for anyone who's trying to look for King Crimson. Um, a, the video has been taken down. Uh, it's, uh, it lasted about a day, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, but a few people saw it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's within their their absolute their right to do so. Uh, I had no permission to put it up, so apologies to to King Crimson and Robert Fripp. Um, but you know, you kind of you guys are missing out, um, and I think King Crimson's missing out because I'm not taking away anything from your potential sales and if you played your cards right and did it properly uh, well not properly but uh, did it cleverly like a lot of people do you will monetize my video so you make music from uh, money from me rather well, i don't make many money from this anyway but uh, anyway look i'm babbling um this is not about that this is about this which is isis threshold of transformation um let's get this video ready to go um okay so yeah it's not a video it's a picture uh, with music in the background so not a great deal to look at and I think hopefully I've got some lyrics here to follow this as well so let's go three two one Ooh, I'm not ready yeah ah, now uh, three two one <laughs> Sounds like Lemmy with a sore throat.
good production. Nice. I like this. I do. Ah. Musically, this is very, very good. I like this. I really like the way the um, the tone and the mood has changed it. It's reminding me of um, uh, Nikira Bunje, you know, that death metal thing uh, that I was listening to from Romania. That's beautiful. And a piano, electric piano. Oh yeah. There's so much flavour in this. This is tasty. Ah. Oh.
this is so good. What an amazing piece of music that was! Uh, that I really was not expecting that to be. I, I it's, it's not. Uh, so, um, uh, Julian Grenon Grecken, you've been asking me to do this for ages and ages and ages and ages. And I kept saying, "Yeah, oh, I will, I will, I will, I will." And I, a little confession: uh, about a month or so ago, I was almost ready to do this. I downloaded the video, I queued it up. I jumped forward to into the middle just to sort of check that the level's okay, and I said, like, oh, I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this now. Uh, I, I didn't think I was going to like it. Um, and now I have, and oh my God, is that a good piece of music or is that a good piece of music? Yes, it's a good piece of music. Um, okay, for sure, you've got the, uh, the, the, the crunchy, growly... Um, uh, really gruff vocals. As I said at the beginning, it sounded like Lemmy, uh, except with a sore throat, so Lemmy times a thousand. Um, but actually, juxtaposed with the clean vocals, and they come in two or three times in this song, especially there at the end, um, it works really, really well. Now, I did have the lyrics up, and I was trying to follow them, but I gave up, because I just... I, <laughs> Lyrics and the meaning of a song is obviously important, but in the whole of this, I think just the uh, the layer and the timbre or the timbre of the sound, um, everything sort of layered up. So the guitars and the bass and the drums and the keyboard and then these uh, the vocal on top of that, it's sound. And for me, that's what I wanted to experience here. So yes, I did start to read the lyrics, but I stopped because. I didn't want to concentrate on that without... I wanted, didn't want to take away from what I was hearing and listening to and experiencing, which was just beautiful in places. I mean, it really was like uh, Nigeru Bunjet. Uh, it was a song I listened to several months ago, Romanian death metal. And who knew death metal could be beautiful? But it really is. Go and have a listen to that if you if you want to. And um, that was... I can't remember the name of the song now. Um, Dacia, I think, or something? Or I, I can't remember. But anyway, that was absolutely phenomenal and this is surprisingly beautiful as well in a similar sort of way it's harsh and hard and full-on loud but dark really dark and incredibly beautiful the uh the chord ch there was a there was a the change in tone probably about halfway through the song and it became a, a, a quite a recognisable chord progression that you've heard in in music a lot of times before, but it worked really really well because of the uh, the instrumentation and the orchestration that's going on here. Um, and 
the dynamics that it, it changed a lot. So you had some very, very, very heavy bits. It wasn't fast. Nothing was fast in here, but it was it was all paced and the tempo remained fairly constant, I think. Um there were a few bits where I was surprised because actually instead of being a four four it suddenly went on to being eleven four or something like that, just for a couple of bars uh, at the end of a end of a verse or something like that, or an end of a little sort of run of sort of uh, eight bars. It's only have a longer bit at the end. Uh, that that, that sort of keeps the interest going. Um, but yeah, just just great, really good. Um, so this band no longer exists. Um, this tends to happen to me. I find a band and they no longer exist. Um, so sad in in a way but you know there's a there's a a wealth of um of catalog back catalog of music there to to dip into um and you know what there's still thousands of other bands out there that i've not yet heard um so julian thank you for this and i'm sorry it took so long to get around to doing it you were right this is absolutely brilliant um you weren't the only one there's quite a few people have asked for this but julian grennan Gricken, most constant and most vocal. Uh, James Fraser also asked. Tom Winters, uh, Lance, Adam Wenger or Wenger, uh, Radu Kanat, K- Katana, um, Brick Tome Media, and yeah, I think that's an easy skanking. But I think I was talking about something else. So. But yeah, quite a few people asked for this, so I hope hope you hope you're happy with what I've done and what I've listened to. Um, I very much am. I'm off to go and play my drums now because uh, I have bought myself a new drum kit. Ah, I have. It's a uh, it's a Roland drum kit uh, because I live in a house and I've got neighbours, so I can't make lots of noise, so I can put my headphones on. But it's very good. However, I've not played drums properly for a number of years, so it's a bit I'm a little bit rusty on it, um, and it seems to be. The drum pads on electronic drum kits are smaller than normal drums. So when you're doing a sort of fill around the kit, I keep hitting the rims and not the drums. So uh, I guess practice makes perfect. I'll probably get around to making a video of that at some point. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, this is me. I've been listening to Isis. I'll see you guys on the next video. And until then, this is Jim Hoover and out.